right using our same data set again the one that uh, is about the meals and you know they're selling or, or uh, they sell or buy dates and their amounts we've seen this before several times now in this tutorial we are going to have a, a, another look at assigning va variables and uh, sub queries quickly and then we'll uh, and then somewhere in the middle of that we'll have a look at some string manipulation functions so let's have a look at how we can assign variables again we mentioned this before which I'm just going to have a quick recap on this here what we're trying to do is we're trying to select description amount da -da -da, from uh, that this data set and the condition is that a meal has a property called description and bind that to description and then amount has a property uh, called amount and bind that to amount and notice here we're trying to display description of the meal and then the amount ie this amount here and what we're trying to do is we're trying to multiply the value that's that gets bound to amount by 0.2 by 0 0.2 and then uh, uh, bind that to a variable called tip so this as is telling us to represent the output or the result of this process of this multiplication or this operation rather was uh, bind it to variable tip so anything or for, from the value uh, value of amount that gets multiplied by 0 0.2 you can say 0 0.2 or 0 0.2 doesn't make a difference really and by, that will be bound to the variable tip and then use the tip now again use the tip now to uh, and add it to amount and bind the result to a variable called total so what we are going to get now is something like this we are going to get um, uh, four columns a column will have a description another second column will have the amount third column it will have amount times 0 0.2 and uh, the header will be tip and the fourth uh, column will be the amount plus tip and it will show as total enough talking let's run that against our query against our data set and see how it goes that's uh, query number 139 so where is our files so we'll just wait 139 and data set is um, is 145 yes 145 so we'll run that and we get three columns of a description amount tip and total as we've explained here remember this is how you bind uh, res a result of some operation or one or more operations to a variable and then it'll display like that tip and then likewise for total that's the first one you know just a quick recap on how to bind variables or bound uh, bind uh, uh, you know, assigned. I'm sorry, assigned values to variables. The second one is uh, just a, a quick introduction to some string manipulation functions. One of them is substring function. You know, the name says it all. I'm, I'm sure uh, you are familiar with the substring function, where you can uh, have a string, you know, a string value or a variable of type string that has a string. Um, and then you just copy a substring from there so saying for example start at the first character and copy me or give me back three characters so what this will do is any value that is assigned or bound to uh, the description variable from there we will start at the first character and copy three characters from there i.e. character number one number two number three remember that you know for some programming languages for example always the first character is at index 0 and all that here we're speaking about start at the first character it doesn't matter where 0 or, zero or 1 anyway the first character we're not interested about the index at the moment start at the first character uh, and give me the first three characters start from the 1 2 3 and then the result of that turn it into uppercase format yes turn it into upper, uppercase uh, form so your case is, is to turn it to uppercase and then get that or assign that the result of that to a, ver a variable called meal code to a variable called meal code and then display the amount with that as well let's have a look at what happens when you run this 
it's one for one one for one hit tab to complete and then you run it and this is what we have what happens now we get we get the first three three letters or the first three characters of the meal of the meal description yeah for dinner it's d i n and then convert it into uppercase using u case that's the column meal code we assign that as variable meal code and then we display the amount in the second column so t two two functions for string manipulation uh, substring and u case i don't know whether there is one called l case let's try it and see what happens for lowercase it works actually which is nice so we also have a lowercase to convert uh, a string into lowercase format leave that as uppercase save it and the uh, third thing that i wanted to show you now is that uh, <coughs> after learning about how to use those functions here you can see that this actually is being placed on a second line because it makes the uh, the select statement too ugly and too big and we can actually have another trick of doing the same thing and move that inside our where close and this is where if you remember from the last video we learned about uh, sub queries or as I prefer to call them nested queries we can move that inside the where clause and have it as another query so we can have two sub queries this is one and this is the second and this is evident from our example here what we're saying here is uh, for the for the first query which is going to do the job of of, of this is um, you know the external one select meal code and amount amount is coming from here and meal code will come from here so select meal select meal where imagine imagine this doesn't exist yes imagine this doesn't exist so we'll remove that say select meal uh, let's let's just give it correct and say select meal code where meal code has a description if we save that now and run it with one four three what we get of course is a long list as you saw before uh, of repetitions because the results of these will be re repeated as many times as you know the number of triples we get from this query but to show you the point of this we're saying here select meal code and select this as well as meal code which is uh, the substring of description take the first three characters convert it into uppercase and select that as meal code from this query now and our second query again is just to select meal and amount and then you know meal variable meal has a property called amount and bind that or assign that to value amount and what we what we could uh, what we are um, uh, retrieving here is meal code from this query or from this sub query rather and amount from this subquery. Enough talking. Let's save it and then run it again. And we'll get exactly the same thing as we got when we ran or when we executed this one here, but we simplified the select statement and used subqueries. Hope that makes sense again. In fact, there's actually a third way of doing this, which is the use to use the keyword bind. What bind does is it binds, we can use that inside our where clause now uh, without having to uh, use subqueries and what we do is, we use, what, oh, I'm sorry, what bind does is it actually binds the result of this to meal code, so sort of doing exactly the same thing as here but this time it's actually inside the uh, actual uh, where clause so we're saying here select meal Descript has a property called description description bind that to description and then it has amount bind that to, to amount and then after that we are forcing this bind sort of this happens automatically the binding here and the assigning here happens uh, automatically and now we're, se we're telling it we're telling sparkle to uh, bind the result of this function st string function this string function the result of this uh, uh, process or operation bind that to variable meal code and then select it in our select I mean uh, 
if you don't believe that, let's say, give me back meal and account and amount, and we can remove this. Yes, and then run it quickly. What's it? What's number that? What number is one four four? Yes. So we can run it again, and we uh, uh, we we'll get a list of you know meal codes and their and their amounts or their prices, and then if we you know here we're getting back the meal code rather than description because we didn't actually call back description. So if we call back description we'll get the uh, you know dinner or lunch or, or, or breakfast but if we actually use the bind now I mean if I use bind and don't call it there's no point anyway as you can see but if I say give me back the meal code now it will do exactly the same thing it'll just get the meal code from the description and then convert it into uh, uppercase run it again and you see that it gives me back the same result as uh, this and this whatever way you like it's up to you but these are three different ways of doing exactly the same thing another last look or one last look at this on how to use the function bind this is how you use it you give it you say bind inside your workloads and then you say or you give your operations that you want to perform and then you tell it to bind that as and then you give it the variable name always remember variable names start with a question mark and then we are retrieving that in our select close save again and then run it again and that's how it works thank you very much for, watch for watching I hope this all is making sense now I hope you're getting the spirit of the sparkle and you are starting to think is in sparkle as we mentioned before thank you very much indeed for watching and I will see you next time